I said I'ma crush it. Call me. Hi. Welcome to Unsung, our region's nonprofit online news magazine show. I'm your host, Anthony Walker. In this edition of Unsung, we will take a look at two issues weighing in on our community, the looming transit cuts and the governor's proposed budget cuts to human services. First, let's check in with the latest news from our area nonprofits. Pittsburgh Cares will serve as lead agency for Global Youth Service Day 2012. Millions of children and youth are partnering with schools, organizations, public officials, media, and families to coordinate the 24th Global Youth Service Day, April 20th through 22nd. GYSD is the largest service event in the world and the only one celebrating the contributions youth make 365 days of the year. GYSD is now celebrated in over 100 countries. Young people participating in youth-led service and service learning initiatives address critical issues such as illiteracy, hunger, and homelessness, children obesity, and preserving natural habitats. Pittsburgh Cares will be hosting several large-scale projects in collaboration with partner agencies for Global Youth Service Day, and you're invited to join the cause. Contact Nina Zappa at nzappa at pittsburghcares.org to sign up. The Women and Girls Foundation have released an urgent call to action. The Violence Against Women Act, first authorized in 1994, has had bipartisan support for several decades until now. This year, for the first time, VAWA has voted out of the Senate Judiciary Committee on straight party lines. Not a single Republican legislator supported it. VAWA is dangerously close to not receiving the support it needs from the Senate to be reauthorized this year. They are asking concerned citizens to contact Senator Toomey to add his name in support of this bill. Instructions on how to help at the address on the screen. The Toonzeum experienced a leak and flooding at a warehouse where they store thousands of comic books. Many that they give the schools and others that were to become part of their library opening in April. An anonymous donor has pledged a matching fund of up to $5,000 in support for Toonzeum as they recover from the water damage to items in the warehouse. You can donate several ways detailed at toonzeum.org slash ways to give dot html and take advantage of the match. Now let's take it to Melissa for her feature story this week. Thank you Chachi. Behind me are plaques that memorialize those homeless in Pittsburgh who have died. And I recently had the chance to speak with John Denny on the impact of the human services cuts that we're facing. Let's take a look at what he thinks we can do to make sure names aren't unnecessarily added to this wall. Well, Melissa, the Campaign for What Works is a, an initiative of the Pittsburgh Foundation, the United Way of Allegheny County, and the Greater Pittsburgh Nonprofit Partnership, which represents over 350 nonprofits, mostly here in the Pittsburgh area. And so what the state did, the Department of Public Welfare, Secretary Gary Alexander came up with this idea that he would give all the counties a chunk of money called a block grant. And supposedly, this block grant has no restrictions on it, no ties to the money, and it allows counties and county commissioners, who really are the ones who provide the human social services in the state, free reign to decide how best to spend the money to provide the programs that are most in need to our neighbors right now. Secretary Gary Alexander said, in exchange for that, I'm going to cut your budget by $168 million. $168 million less. We cut this funding for those families and individuals. Groups like Emmaus will be both out of business, but worse yet, people like those with mental health issues, they can't go to Mayview. Those hospitals are closed. So where are they going to end up? They might end up on the streets, homeless. They might end up in our emergency rooms. And worse yet, some of them will ultimately end up in our county jail. All of those are bad for the individuals, but they're also big cost shifts. So instead of paying now preventative, we're gonna pay more for emergency rooms. And who's got the money to pay more for a county jail? This was simply done, a number pulled out of the air, it could have been a uh, hundred million, it could have been two hundred million, they picked 168 just to balance a budget. And here's the end result. County commissions, county executives around the state, 67 counties, they're the ones who are going to have to decide. This is not waste, fraud, and abuse. 
that we keep hearing so much from Gary Alexander on. This is not the $400 million of waste, fraud, and abuse. That waste, fraud, and abuse that was identified by uh, Auditor General Jack Wagner earlier on, that's supposedly in Medicaid. This isn't welfare Medicaid dollars. These are program dollars to help people who we made a pledge to help. So a couple of things people can do. Number one, go to your county commissioners to make sure that they are fully aware and engaged, and most of them are on this issue. Ask your county commissioners, if this goes through, how are you gonna handle it? What programs are you gonna cut? And are you gonna raise taxes? Go to the legislators specifically and begin to talk to them about this issue. And we can make it very easy for a lot of those things to happen on Campaign for What Works. If people will go to our website at www.campaignforwhatworks.org, they can log on and they can do two really important things. One, we have a petition, an online petition. Sign it, urge the legislature to restore the funding. Two, send an e-card with your own personal message straight from our site to any or all legislators that you want to communicate with. They need to hear from us now. So yep, we're on Facebook, we're on Twitter, like us, we'll like you back, and if you like us a lot, we'll love you a lot too. So please, go to our Facebook and Twitter. You know, I know we're all living in tough times, and I know the state's got budget issues, all states do, and it really comes down to priorities. And we can have a good debate over what the priority should be. Education, helping our neighbors and me that they get through this time. To me, those seem like pretty good, you know, priorities. And, um, and I just hope that uh, the legislature will see it that way and will do the right thing and restore the funding and phase in this kind of a block grant approach so that we can really provide services in a way that they need to be. In this week's contributed video, we take a look at the transit rally and one of its speakers who are rallying against a broken and cut transit system in Pittsburgh. Allegheny Intermediate Unit and the Three Rivers Workforce Investment Board are pleased to announce a competition for students in grades 6 through 12 in conjunction with Imagine Career Week. Students can write an essay or create a video about their dream career. There will be one winner for each grade level division. Winners will receive a job shadow in their dream career and an invitation to the Imagine Career Week employer breakfast. Winners will also receive a $100 gift card. Contest ends on April 1st, 2012. To enter and for more information, please visit imaginecareercontest.pittsburghonvideo.org.
The Pittsburgh Super Stroll is a community and family oriented event in which participants throughout the Pittsburgh area dress as their favorite superhero and walk 1.5 miles around the University of Pittsburgh campus. The walk is interlaced with a comic strip-like storyline comprised of heroics featured superheroes who defeat obstacles which jeopardize the community, the event, and their personal well-being. The stroll is March 25th, and you can find out more and register at the address on your screen. Join concerned citizens from across the Pennsylvania area to sign, share, and voice your concerns in the online petition to Governor Corbett and your legislators the proposed 2012 and 2013 budget gives greater flexibility to our counties by combining seven line items into the Human Services Development Block Grant, but at the same time cuts 20%, or $168 million, from the funding for these services. Services that work for our elderly, at-risk children, homeless or on the brink of becoming homeless, mental health services, and those with intellectual disabilities. Please consider leaving a comment when you sign so our legislators and Governor Corbett realize the true impact of this decision. Add your name to the petition at the address on your screen. Thanks for watching Unsung. Be sure to share it with your friends. You can check out our previous episodes and our Unsung Uncut series over at pittsburghonvideo.org. I've been your host, Anthony Walker, reminding you to keep it awesome, Pittsburgh. We'll see you next time. So I said, I'm a crush it. Call me the golden boy, cause it shine whenever I touch it. Don't rush it, the flow comes naturally. Actually, the whole hood after me. Masterpiece, I outran a pace car. And these dudes f***ing mad cause they can't even find a day job. I stay hard with or without Viagra. And I said, the flow crush like the fourth of Niagara. I'm after a major label budget, but since I'm not pop top 40, they all scared to touch it.